Okay, this is not a massive amount of snow, but we're thankful for every snowflake here in Normandy to get us into the Christmas mood before all melts away in the morning sun. Kempner. Are you ready? You ready to help me? Huh? You want to come foraging? You look super excited, Ziggy. Come on. So one thing we definitely, oh, that sun. Oh, I'm not complaining about the sun. I mean, it's rarely sunny in the winter here in Normandy, so I should not complain. I love the sun, but it's just very difficult to film. It's crazy how there are so many fruit on the holly this year. My mum has a theory that that means it's going to be a very hard winter, apparently, when there's lots of berries. Big, big. Not only is it perfect for Christmas decorating, but I'm saving this tree from being overtaken by ivy. Firstly, I'm going to take some of this ivy and I'm going to use this as my base to make my garland, which I'm going to drape above the kitchen mantle. Ziggy? What are you doing? Are you helping me? Or are you sh shivering? Oh, Ziggy's cold. So I'm pretty happy with how it's looking, but I do think it needs a little extra something. So I have these dried flowers that I've had lying around in a vase, and I think that that could look really pretty if I add that in. These are just some dried seed heads, so I'm going to paint them with some normal gold spray paint. Thank you. Good. An accident happened. It was one of my daughters. I'm not going to tell you which one. It would be unfair, if not traumatizing, to shame her publicly. Also, she's um, quite sensitive. It's the younger one. Her name is Ella. That's how she looks. Anyways, I have to repair that now. And I'm really upset because I have so many other things to do. If I only had boys, they, they would be so much more careful. Anna's going to be happy when she sees that the paint comes off. It wasn't me. This was Anna who closed it up. That's 
that's my left hand, that's why I look a bit clumsy. I have one and only one piece of glass in the right size. Actually, it's a bit bigger. But if I fail cutting five mil off on this side and on this side, I don't know, I have to order glass and we have a hole in our window for the next week or so. And that's the moment where not only the camera mic ran out of battery, but also where I broke the glass. And for the sake of this channel staying family friendly, it was probably a good thing that there was no sound. All right, I'm officially an idiot and I deserve all the online hate you're ready to throw at me. But I also found out that just 15 minutes from here we have a DIY shop and they cut glass. And I went there and I gave them the measurements and they cut it and it cost 11 euros. It's exactly what my daughter had in her piggy bank and so it's only fair that she paid for it. Each time I go over it, I make it a bit worse. If I've ever done that before, you have to admit that's not the end of the world. It's not super, super ugly. It's just a little ugly. We're so happy that my parents are joining us for a week. And as usual, they didn't waste any time before helping out at the chateau. And with Philip under supervision, I was able to take the kids on an important shopping trip. This way, look. Ella, where are you going? All right, girls, we've got to choose. Hang on, girls, you've gone too far. Lily. Ella, we need you for the height test. <laughs> You went too far, Lily. All right. So, I think we need the biggest, the biggest tree possible. What do you think, girls? This. Which one is the biggest, Ella? That one. Yeah, that looks pretty big to me. That's the one. Right, Lily. How strong are you feeling? I don't know. Are you feeling strong enough to lift a Christmas tree? Mm-hmm. <laughs> Come on then, girls. Pop off, sweetheart. No. Ella. Why? I need to put this on the tra the trolley. Well, you can. No, you're in the way. Ella, hop off now, please. Damn. Well, are you sorry. stuck in there? No, because I need both sides. I need both sides. Oh, you got in there. Ella. <laughs> We're going to get this one. Oh, my goodness. You're so strong. So this one's for the kitchen. Wait. Right, there's nothing that we can do. No. Oh, good job, girls. Together. So I've now finished attaching all my posies to my wreath base and you can see I also used the spray painted dried leaves. I think that looks really pretty. So I'm going to also add in, I think, a little bit of this white dried flower as well, just to give it a little pop of white. And I've got this really pretty, really deep, it's a kind of burgundy red purple ribbon, which I'm gonna to add to it as well.
and it's going to look really pretty. Should we go and put them up? Yes. Like this? We have Wreath Inspector Ziggy. Look. Zigs. Ziggy, Ziggy, what do you think? Ziggs, come and have a look. What do you think? Is it good? Is it good? Yeah? Is it good? going to make some little Christmas decorations out of some leftover, well this is actually wallpaper from the boot room. So I have some strips of this that I kept and I'm going to make some decorations and I also have some leftover wrapping paper which I made with this very simple stamp which repeats and it's a little bit like making paper snowflakes because you just make something and you kind of cut out a design and then you don't even know really what's going to happen when you print it and it's like magic, it's a beautiful repetition. So I'm gonna cut this in half. Make sure it's kind of straight, your fold. I'm gonna make it, I think it's about 1.5. This is one for Philip because you don't really have to measure. <laughs> now we've got our first fold and now we're gonna turn it over and we're gonna fold it back and align up. So we're making equal size folds every time. Okay, now it's nicely concertinaed. We need to find our middle, which is about here. And I'm gonna use this, some nice metallic string. I'm gonna make a little bow, a little knot on the back here. Either we can just flick it back like that, or if you want, you can also make a nice cut to make a little bit more of a pointy shape. So that's what I'm gonna do. I'm just gonna cut the tips off here, like that, and the same on this one. So you can just glue those together like this. Put a little staple on the back, keep it in place. And now we're just gonna take a little bit of the thread and we're gonna make a little loop of glue here in the back. There we go. Being married never pays off as much as it does for me when it comes to Christmas presents. In our beautiful relationship, Anna loves to choose presents, purchase them, wrap them up. Look how pretty this is. Whilst I'm more than happy to receive them. And if wars comes to wars and I have to buy a present by myself, I do it online. Especially if the shop has been built with Squarespace. I'm all in one platform to build a stunning online presence, which also happens to be this week's ad. Web pages created with Squarespace always look good and are easy to navigate because they have been built using templates, which you can choose according to your needs and your style. It's an ideal platform for e-commerce business, but there are templates and functions for all kinds of web pages, whether you need a homepage to book appointments, sell your skills in an online course, or want to showcase examples of your work to your customers. If you have a specially complex project, Squarespace can also put you in touch with an expert who will help you polish an existing site or build a new site from scratch. So if you would like to see how easy it is to create a web page with Squarespace, head over to squarespace.com for a free trial. And when you're ready to launch, head over to squarespace.com slash howtogenerateashuttle for 10% off your first purchase of a web page or domain. Hey. You're printing again. I am. I'm in a bit of a mad printing rush because I'm trying to print out some Christmas cards for our patrons. And I had the crazy idea to create a lino printed card for our patrons this year. <laughs> so I'm going lino printing mad. But I think it's looking really nice. Look, I've already printed a couple here. I'm undecided. I've got this one, which is just a simple blue version. Oh, pretty. Or I'm trying another one where I have like a bronze underlay and I think that looks really pretty because it's got a bit of a glisten. Yes. So I'm hand printing a few of them for our top tier patrons. Then all of our patrons 
are going to get a printed version of the card. Um, Digitally printed. Yeah, a digital printed card, a little postcard. It's our way of saying thank you to everyone for their support for the, this year. And it's just a little way of giving back to them because our patrons are amazing. And it's a fun little thing to do every, every Christmas. And you came up with the design as well of the house. I've, mm -hmm. seen you, I've seen you drawing it. It wasn't the easiest thing to carve out of lining because there was a lot of details. And what if somebody signs up now? Is there still time for them to, to get a card? Yeah, I think we'll keep sending them out up until next week. So there's still plenty of time if you want to join. You heard what she said. You can still become a patron and get one of these cards. For a lot of people, Christmas means decorating your house, buying a Christmas tree, inviting people, giving presents, which is all fine. But there's a danger that these superficial things hide to core the essence of what this period should be about which for me will always be making Glühwein. And I'm gonna show you my favorite recipe. It's easy to make and you will love it. The most important, of course, is the wine. Don't make the mistake and use a cheap wine. It doesn't have to be fancy, but something you would be happy to drink on a normal basis as well. So I'm gonna use a Bordeaux, which is quite a strong wine, but still a dry wine. You need oranges and you need three spices. These are Zimtstangen, Sternanis, look how pretty. Und Gewürznägen. I don't even know if these three spices have English names. They're probably grown in Germany and Austria to make Glühwein. Oranges, English, oranges, orangen in German. We need the juice of two of these. Frisch gepresst, of course. I don't know why I speak German, it's, it's the Glühwein. Nothing left. We have an electric orange presser, but it's always so much work to clean it that we never end up using it. So it's easy to just do it by hand. It's silly, isn't it? Now, pot, wine, two Zimtstangen, ein Sternanis, and three, and not more than three, Gewürznelken. They're really strong. They can ruin it if you put too many in. And then you drop these slices into the wine just to give it even more orangey flavor. Yum. Yes, Iggy, it's gonna be a feast. Yes, of course you will get some. Everybody, also the children. Now you leave it to simmer for about 15, 20 minutes, but remember, never cook it, because otherwise the alcohol evaporates and you end up with glue grape juice and not glue vine. The final ingredient is sugar. I'm using brown sugar, 50 grams per one liter of wine. It can be less, it can be more. It just depends on how you feel about diabetes or obesity. And if you'd like to know how I make those prints on paper and fabric for home decor, I created a new beginners course where I show you how easy it is to become creative at home, at your kitchen table, with simple tools and just having fun doing it. If that sounds like something you could be interested in, please check out the link in the description under this video. And here's my contribution. Ooh, wow, that looks so good. Okay, cheers. Yes, yeah, so let's give it a taste test. Let's give it a taste test. Like it. It's very good, very orangey. Yes, that was the point. I think you, your too recipe is a little too much orange. But okay, do the we, same thing, just with less oranges. I know you love orange, but yeah. it still tastes very good. Okay. <laughs> and I'm quite surprised, but that whole bottle of wine literally... Disappeared in your belly. Disappeared into 
two small glasses, that's yeah. not enough. <laughs> We'll see you next week for Christmas, and until then, have a great week.